My name is uh, James Irwin. I'm a cardiologist and an electrophysiologist at St. Joseph's Hospital. Well, the Heart Institute is important for a couple reasons. The facility is fabulous, but the key is that they've combined cardiologists and cardiac surgeons so that we're working closely together. We're, we're right next to each other. We're talking to each other every day. And the question is, 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 do they have a better way of treating something or do we have a better way of treating it? Or more importantly, what can we do together to give the patient the best chance to defeat heart disease? One of the major things that has occurred is the development of a hybrid room. A hybrid room has state-of-the-art x-ray equipment and is OR capable. So we can now do procedures that it was not possible to do in either facility alone, such as catheter-delivered aortic valve replacement. Also, it's going to allow us to do other procedures, not just cardiology procedures, but vascular procedures, jointly with radiologists and vascular surgeons. I can see neurosurgeons and other physicians working together in this hybrid room. The other thing that, that has really impressed me is St. Joe's commitment to the future. It cost a lot of money to put this together, but they didn't stop there. They brought in personnel from around the country. Dr. Gocha to develop the heart failure program and Dr. Bradner, who's an expert in heart assist devices, which are an important piece in treating patients. So, as exciting as the facilities are, I'm much more excited about the obvious commitment that St. Joseph's has put together to advance heart therapy treatments in the Tampa Bay area. They really didn't miss any important details. The cabling, which ran over the floor before, is out of the way so that it doesn't get tripped on and the wires don't get broken. So the signals that we see are much better than we've ever seen before. The room has positive pressure ventilation to decrease the risk of infection. We have device implants such as pacemakers and defibrillators that we do in that room. And so just that little detail of avoiding infection uh, is really nice. The lighting is state of the art. It's LED lighting, it's not hot. It's nice to be able to uh, have a surgical light that doesn't burn the back of your neck. So it's really nice in that regards. The x-ray is state-of-the-art. It's what's called DynaCT, which means that we can inject contrast and get a CT equivalent right on the spot. And for certain mapping procedures, being able to get a CT image of the chamber of interest, such as the right atrium, left atrium, left ventricle, right ventricle, and combine it with 3D mapping um, makes life easy and enjoyable. The Heart Institute, and particularly certain things such as the hybrid room, changes things dramatically. One of the devices that we implant is called a biventricular defibrillator. And the left ventricular lead is placed over a really tiny hair-sized wire, an angioplasty wire, into the coronary sinus system. In the past, when we did lead extractions, which we removed leads that were no longer needed to free up room for some of these specialized leads, we would do it in the CV operating room with a portable C-arm. That C-arm is not of high enough quality to allow us to see some of these little tiny wires. So what we would have to do is do the extraction, close up the incision, and several days later take them up to the EP lab where we had a better x-ray system that could see and track these little tiny wires. Well, now they've combined both into this one room. So it saves a patient two procedures, saves the risk of infection of a second procedure. It allows you to do everything at once. And it's that attention to detail and that ability to do things we've never done before, which is really exciting because this is just the start. It's a new frontier that we're pioneering. I feel like Captain Kirk on the Enterprise. It's a whole new world out there and it's going to be exciting exploring it.